Defendant Musa Mil Hassan spent a third day on the witness stand today at his trial for the beheading murder of his estranged wife. News 4's Michelle McClintock reports Hassan's testimony wandered from orders of protection to diagrams and dragons. Muzamil Hassan continued his testimony today, slowly getting through the year 2007 into 2008 in his marriage to Asiya. He continued to talk about what he calls her abusive and argumentative behavior. He brought emails into evidence showing how on many occasions he tried to convince her to see a counselor. He talked about moving out of their Orchard Park home and into a nearby hotel. At the time, his wife Asiya had filed an order of protection against him, but continued to visit him almost every night at the hotel, according to Hassan. He brings up police reports, only to give his accounts of what happened in each case, telling jurors that Asiya lied. There are a lot of police reports that he believes that there is no basis for, and he wants to discuss those. He wanted the jury to see several papers, random thoughts of Hassan's that included charts and scribblings of his feelings. Judge Thomas Franzek asked about a diagram that Hassan drew where it came from. Hassan replied, it came from God. The judge questioned a drawing of a dragon and asked if the concept was his idea. Hassan said, quote, yes, I didn't get this from any book. He says he told Asiya that an evil dragon is the problem in their marriage. Hassan says he tried to commit suicide while in his hotel room at the Clarion. He says he took about 10 unisom, but I guess I'm too big. It was the closest I came to committing suicide. Perhaps the biggest surprise to come out of court today was Hassan's desire to have a prosecution expert testify for the defense. The judge ordered a subpoena for a Dr. Horowitz. Though it would be unusual for one side to call as a witness somebody that was retained by the other side, but it, not that it's never happened before. The judge did cite a case where it has happened. And Hazan has asked the judge to sign several subpoenas, including two for his oldest children, who you may remember testified against him for the prosecution. Judge Franzek reserved that decision, but he agreed to sign several others. Hazan will be back to testify tomorrow. Reporting live, Michelle McClintock for the 10 o'clock news.